All right, so we are in actually in Poser 7 here because the car I'm gonna load has different material presets that can't be loaded in the studio. So I'm gonna load them in Poser and then I'm gonna save the scene and then I'm gonna load the scene in, in the studio. All right, so I'm gonna go to Build Barrett, Muscle Cars Reborn, and I actually bought this amazing car in the Renderosity website, at the Renderosity website. And I think I paid like 15 bucks or something, and it, the details is, you know, I mean, are stunning. So this is a really, really high detail car. Just love it. And so I'm gonna simply just apply a default material preset here. Anyway, here are the material presets. So I'm gonna choose a orange car with black stripes. All right, I'm gonna head back to pose and I'm gonna delete, I'll make this window even smaller. I'm gonna delete the lights since I don't want them to transfer to the studio. I can always delete them later, but I want the file to be as clean as possible. All right, so now that this is done, I'm simply gonna save the scene and I already have it saved before. I'm gonna call it Poser Car PS3. And this uh, file format is actually readable by the studio straight on. All right, and for those that don't have Poser, you can actually load the card directly. But as I mentioned, the problem is that the material presets are not available. Uh, there are no uh, Dust Studio matte presets available. So I simply loaded the car into Poser to uh, apply a material preset, and then I exported that in the uh, Poser 3, sorry, Poser uh, scene file format, and that format is readable by Dust Studio. So here I loaded the car directly from the icon here, and we can of course work, work with that as well, but I wanted to, to, uh, the car to look neat, so I'm going to show you how that's done. Simply going to import the poser car PS3 file and it's gonna load up with the uh, material preset applied to it. Just like that, perfect. So, what I need now is to remove all the poser stuff I don't need, like the ground and all the camera angles. And I'm gonna create a new camera. And I'm not gonna mess with that camera. I can actually turn it off for now. All right, so this is our car. And a common problem with animations is that a car lacks dynamics. And by dynamics, I mean, since this is not a solid object, uh, I mean, the wheels are, you know, uh, really, if you have seen a car like uh, taking on a pavement or some, you know, irregularities in, in the ground, the wheels are gonna, you know, move up and down. And if the car performs a really nasty high G motion, uh, like the skid we are gonna make, then the body will actually, you know, move. And let's say we want to do that right now. Uh, See, the problem is that the wheels are following along. And if we, mo if we want to, you know, add this kind of movement of the car body, we want the wheels to stay on the ground. And unfortunately, there is no way of doing this with this car. Um, I will show you in a moment how to do that. What, what's good about this is that we can move individual uh, wheels up and down. So that, that's really good. 
although it will not work if you are doing a really advanced animation at least not with this car because it has a separate uh, you know wheel control for each of the wheels and you can also spin them but the problem is that rear uh, wheels are connected to a the same controller so if you are doing really advanced stuff you really want to have each of the wheels separately uh, controllable so what can we do to give the uh, body separate uh, movement that's you know detached from the wheels well since this is not possible out of the box we need to fake it a little bit the simplest way to do that is to actually load several versions of the car. So I'm going to import another one. And we need to have one car loaded for the main body. And then we need another four instances of the car for each of the wheels. And we'll control the main movement of the car by a null object. And then we'll parent the body and all the wheels separately to the main null object. So that way we have we're gonna have full control of the body, main body, uh, main car movement, like creating the skid and you know the direction the car is heading, and we'll have individual control of all the wheels and we'll have individual control of the car body. So for each of the um, import, I need to remove all the stuff. And I can start renaming this actually. I can rename this to uh, body. So this is going to be the body of the car. And I can actually make all the wheels invisible. Because I don't need them in the body. Like that. And of course the other car is distracting so I can move it out of way just for now so you see what I mean and we want the doors intact of course so that's going to be our car body and then I'm going to move that back to its original dis um, position I'm going to make the uh, car frame invisible and this is the right wheel right front wheel so I'm going to make all, all the other stuff, you know, invisible. And unfortunately you cannot delete stuff like that. There are, you know, uh, structure done in Poser. Um, when you have bones like that, if you delete one of the objects, the entire object, object will go. So this is the way to do this. Unless you have a car model from the start, when you have all the parts, you know, individually uh, attached. All right, so this one is our front right wheel. And as you can see, I can move that wheel away. And I have it, you know, individually. So I'm going to move it back. And I'm going to import another instance of the car. All right, I'm going to remove the cameras and the ground and call this front left wheel. And I'm going to make every non needed part invisible like the right wheel, car frame, left wheel I want intact, back rear wheels I want to make invisible and the doors as well. So I can just try it out and it should be just that wheel. Perfect. 